Conveniently close to San Antonio, Dallas, and Houston, Waco has made a name for itself for its charming dining and shopping scenes, as well as a ton of family-friendly things to do, making it a great destination to visit or settle in and put down some roots. All right, y'all, we've arrived in Waco and fall is in the air. It's cooling off. The hill country is looking beautiful and we've got a few days to try and see as much as possible. So last time we visited Waco, we got to check out the incredible history museum, the zoo and Magnolia Bakery at the Silos. But on this trip, we're staying a little bit longer. And this time around, we are just outside of town at Gathering Oaks Retreat, where we'll be spending the next two nights. So let's go check it out. This place is so cute. This unique destination offers guests a place away from the hustle and bustle of downtown where they can kick back and relax on 30 acres of tranquil land with a variety of accommodations. This is so my style areas for events and activities. They've even got a fire pit. Maybe we'll start a fire later on. And the kind of charm you'd expect in this part of Texas. If you've got a family reunion, corporate, or church retreat, this is the place. You've got tons of these great common areas and whatever kind of room you're after. This is gonna be my room. The sunlight is amazing and hold on, hold on. These beds feel so comfortable. Except we weren't in Waco just to relax. Built in 1968, the Rangers Museum contains tons of historical antiques and exhibits ranging from the service's role in the Texan War for Independence, the Mexican-American War, and tracking mobsters during the public enemy era. So this is the Hall of Fame and Museum of the Texas Rangers. And guys, no, I'm not talking about the baseball team. I'm talking about the original Texas Rangers. There's over 200 years of legacy here, and I wonder if Chuck Norris will be in today. Let's go find out. In 1964, there was a group of uh, gentlemen in Waco. They went to the state and said, can we have a museum dedicated to the Texas Rangers being the oldest state law enforcement agency in America? And they said, yeah, we can do that. Both Walker and the Lone Ranger, one of the reasons why we get a lot of people coming into the museum, they've seen those characters on TV and now they want to learn about the real history of the Rangers. Hi -ho! All right, Lone Ranger was a little bit before my time, so sorry if I butchered that. But I look great, don't I? Now I'm feeling a little thirsty, and I know just the place to get my hands on Waco's most famous export. That's right, the unofficial soft drink of the state of Texas was created right here in Waco all the way back in 1885. That's before Coca-Cola, and in fact, it's the oldest soda still in production today. So, you're welcome, America. With 160,000 visitors last year, it's one of the biggest attractions in Texas. Inside, you'll find exhibits about the history of the iconic brand, family-friendly activities, and of course, a soda shop. It started in a drugstore, um, but we like to think the Old Corner Drugstore was special because we had a guy working there named Dr. Charles Alderton. He was the pharmacist there, but he really enjoyed stepping behind the soda fountain and mixing flavors for the local citizens. The most popular drink that he mixed was a blend of 23 different flavors, and originally it was just called the Waco. After it became really popular, they decided that it needed an official name, and so they named it Dr. Pepper. What do we have in front of us? So this is our specialty here. This is a Dr. Pepper float. Okay. Um, the base of it, as you can see, is vanilla ice cream, but specifically homemade vanilla ice cream from Bluebell. Oh, yeah. Then we have a hand-mixed Dr. Pepper. Oh, that's good. The Dr. Pepper float is really, I think, the ideal thing to get when you come to the museum. To get the lay of the land, we took to the water with a leisurely cruise down the Brazos River with Waco Tours. 
This tour is unlike anything you'd expect. It starts off with a short drive that feels more like a party. We're pumped to have you guys. <laughs> of course, a tour is only as good as its tour guide, and fortunately for me, the guides at Waco Tours are the best in the business. Captain David over here, he said, you know, all these people are coming down to Waco. He's like, who is showing all these amazing people our wonderful city? So he's like, well, let's just give him a little tour. We started with one van and now we have a river cruise. We're gonna have a blast. All right, everything we did today was absolutely amazing. I had no idea all this existed in Waco. This is just day one of our trip. Tomorrow's day two, and I promise it's gonna be just as amazing as today. So I'll see y'all later.